learning, <coughs> excuse me, um, you may be interested in uh, doing some channeling and being able to bring in messages from entities from uh, other dimensions or um, beings or people who died and then you want to contact them. So you're channeling or you, you're a medium. So again, there is the subject, which is you, is trying to connect and get information from the objects. Does this make sense so far? Do you, are you getting this? Yeah? Is this like, so far, I want to make sure I'm clear about this part, that we have this part of it clear. So there is still a me trying to get or do something to take care of me. And there is also this subject that I need to take care of myself. I need to make sure that my future is safe. I have enough enough that uh, take care of my retirement. I need to make sure that I have enough food to eat. I need to make sure I'm safe. I need to make sure I don't get sick. I need to make sure that nothing bad happened to me. So there is still the subject, which is me, trying to taking care and dealing with different elements in life of which are these different objects of basically taking care of myself. So nobody comes and challenge you and tell you or bring this question to you all of your life, all of your life that you live. You've never thought about maybe I need to examine the subject. Maybe I need to examine the existence of this me. This me that have observed myself growing up all of my life. I have all these memories. I have all these feelings. I have all these thoughts. I have all these friends, all these family. I live this my life. This me Maybe this me is not real. So we we don't question that. It doesn't even occur to us because why would you? All of your life, everyone else around us including everything you're observing, everything you're touching, everything you're dealing with, is all geared into this relationship of the subject, which is you, and the object of what's being perceived, what's being felt, touched, smelt. That's what you grow up with from the time you remember. So you never question it. But here, what we're doing, when I share with you, let's trace back your thoughts to the origin where your thoughts come from. Let's just go deep inside. Where do your thoughts come from? Is when you trace it back, is what happens is we are going to examine the validity of the subject, the validity of this person who is experiencing all these things and rightfully believes that it's happening to this person. Now we're going to examine that to see how real is that person. Is it real? Is, does it really exist? Are these things really happening to this person? 
is what about this person? Is this person real or not? Or is a part of an imagination? How real is this person? And if you remember in the beginning, I mentioned that real is that which is always here. Real is that which doesn't change. Now, if this person here is changing based on what I shared before, then how real is that? Can it be real? Because this one, that I call it me, is changing all the time. Is changed all the time. So how real is this one? Now, the, this is where it becomes very interesting and uh, super interesting, is to challenge the validity of the subject, of the one that is experiencing things of the experiencer, is challenging that, examining the roots of it to see how real it is. And those who are willing to try it and go into it, then they may find something very, very interesting very something of value. Because you have to cut through a lot of the belief system, a lot of the concepts, a lot of the notions that have been implanted in our psyche from childhood. Things that we believe they're real. And some of us in this life have seen that some of things that for years you really believed they were real, they just turn sour and they turn the other way around. And then at one point you start to see, wow, I thought this was real, but it's not. And the same thing with this idea of me. The idea of me, of someone here separated from everything else. And because I have these feelings of being separated, I am this subject and they're all I'm related to all these events, all these thoughts, emotions, people that I'm relating to. So those are the objects that we talked about. And so I have a very strong conviction that I am real and therefore those things are real and these things are happening to me. And they're connected to me, they're affecting my existence. But if I go deep and turn my attention inwards and challenge this idea of myself, which I've never done it before, but now I'm seriously challenging it, 